Hey everyone, this is Chris Nelson from Go Engineer. Today we are going to learn how to use the sheet metal functions of SOLIDWORKS in order to flatten a cone and export that flattened cone as a DWG or a DXF file. Once your line has been created, add a construction line on the y-axis. This will allow you later to revolve the feature. Inside of the revolve boss base feature, select your line and then make that construction line the axis of revolution. Add a thickness and thin feature and change the direction degrees to 358 or 359. This lets there be a small gap in the cone. Click the check mark and what we need to do now is convert this piece to sheet metal. So if we right click the ribbon, make sure sheet metal is selected. Then once we open it up, click the insert bends button. All we need to do now is click one of the edges of that gap. Once we click, click the gap in the cone, click the check mark, and it is now sheet metal. Your model shouldn't look any different now, but if we click this flatten button, it will show what the piece would look like if it was cut out from sheet metal. Now if we right click this piece, click export to DXF slash DWG, put a file name in, and save this file. After following these dialogues, it will save this file as a normal DWG file or DXF for use in other CAD applications. If we use a drawing on the other hand, SOLIDWORKS will automatically create this file for us. I have my own drawing file right here. If we double click the part, a little box pops up saying flat pattern. Click that box and place your drawing. Using the shift tab function, we can go back to the original part window. If we click in the configuration menu, Click the drop down tab for the default part, and underneath it you will see the flat pattern option. This allows you to access the flat pattern through the configuration manager. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial video useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our online training courses at Go Engineer.